it's this two-step or a, a two-stage process, right? Where uh, you have to both have the genetic marker and then have the trigger event present. So you think about somebody who is a smoker, they've been smoking for 60 years and they never got lung cancer, and then somebody else who smokes twice gets lung cancer. And what we're, we're seeing now in the scientific world is that they're considering that genetic marker as kind of your, your ticket to get the disease or the cancer or the whatever it is. So the person who smoked for 60 years just didn't have the genetic marker, hypothetically. And the person who got it after smoking twice did have the marker. With type one diabetes, I had the marker, but I was never put into the, the perfect storm that led to my diagnosis, which for me was incredibly stressful, probably a virus included in there as well, and some really traumatic emotional events that led me into what then become type 1 diabetes. So I think it's a most multi-stage process, and to me at least, that's what makes the most sense 